Okay, so now that we have the um, the, the database and the blog um, containers running, how do I log in <clears throat> or kind of like um, get access to that Docker inside? Um, it's really easy at this point. Since we have the bash command running at the end, it means that it's just waiting for us to connect to it. And the way we do that, we do this, this uh, command, docker execute interactive terminal, and then blog, which is the name of the, of the container that we're going to connect to, <coughs> and then uh, bash, which is the kind of like the terminal um, software. So if we do that, see, now we're inside the, the container and it's, uh, we're, we're logged in as root, which is not always good if you're doing like, um, kind of like things on, on real servers, but on containers, it's okay to be the root because nobody else is, is going to go in there and, and do stuff. You're, you're the only, like the application is the only one that needs to have, um, kind of like access and, and, and install things and things like that. But if I do an LS here, you'll see that I have all the files that I have on my, on my kind of like, um, J.R. Escobar, like uh, local file. And, uh, something that, that you'll see here is that the, um, the, uh, the, these files here, if I change anything outside, they're going to be reflected here. So let's, let's see if that, if that, um, is, is true. So I'm going to do <clears throat> a cat on, let's say settings. Let's see quickly what the setting, um, the settings file looks like. So I actually, we don't need, um, a lot of this stuff because this is like, this is what we used to connect to cloud nine. And since we now have the database running, um, kind of like locally, uh, a lot of these things are not going to be required. So, um, the DB URI is going to change. Um, and, uh, so the, the username is going to be, um, root, right. And the password is, is test. Remember that when we set up the, um, the database, <clears throat> uh, container, we pass that, uh, as an environment variable, right. And then the database name is going to still be, be named, uh, uh, blog, the host, we're going to change this to be, um, my SQL and let's see here. So the host is my SQL, right? And then, um, we need to connect via 3306. So we need to add the port here. I'll just put it like this 3306 because that's the host and that's going to be replaced here. And then the blog database name is, is there. Um, <clears throat> we also need to change the, the name of the images destination, right? Because now it's OPT flash blog, uh, static images. And we have that folder there. <clears throat> and the images URL is still going to be static images. Perfect. So now if we save this file, we should see the updated file here. So let's do another cat. So before we did this cat, we had all this stuff in here. If I clear the screen, oh, we don't have clear here. This is kind of like a bug that, that um, Docker has. Um, we need to like define the term environment. But in any case, if we do cat uh, settings py, see now it's, 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 it replaced that contents with whatever we edited there, which is pretty cool. That means that any change that we do on our Atom editor, which is all nice and kind of like good looking, we don't have to be editing stuff like here using VI or Vim or Emacs. Although when you're kind of like down your careers, maybe you, you want to use those editors, um, as hardcore developers do. Um, and I went through that phase as well, but I really like my Atom. So I can edit anything in here in my, my Mac environment or windows environment. And those changes are going to be reflected there, which is, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> so that's it. Um, let's check, um, if we can ping the MySQL server from here, 
and see I'm getting a response that means I'm um, I'm able to see from here the MySQL uh, connection. So the last thing we want to do now is actually run the application to see what it looks like. So let's do that. 